Hey everybody, this is Coach Tara Woodruff, the Mind Reset Coach, coming to you with a very interesting video here late at night. Um, you're probably not going to see this till tomorrow because I'm not going to schedule it till the morning. However, this is what this is about. I posted a video yesterday with one of my business partners, Susan Sly and Todd Falcone, talking about whether or not they believe that mindset or skills were more important to create success in your business. Both of them felt that it was skill set that made more importance in the creation of success in your home-based business. So, um, I thought about it and I'm thinking to myself, well, if you don't have the right mindset to even begin to allow yourself to learn a new skill set so that you can create a new result in your life, then how, you know, it's like the, the chicken and the egg. And I thought about it, thought about it. And because I listen when Susan talks, because I better listen when Susan talks, because she creates amazing results, not only for herself, but she's actually helped 27 people over the past 12 years become millionaires inside of our home-based business. So I want to listen to what she has to say. So I thought about it and I realized that my perspective and her perspective are very different, okay? Um, she is already producing multiple seven figures per year and she already has people that she's cultivated and mentored into becoming millionaires. Now there's something that I noticed and the, you know besides, besides the perspective I'm I have a lot of experience and I have a lot of skills and I work on my mindset every single day because that's where I think I struggle right you know you might see me as somebody that has it all together but I struggle with crazy stuff that you wouldn't even realize you know I get really mad fast and that's not that's not cool so I focus on the mindset a lot because that's something that I need however when helping my team create success and helping me build a better business, I realized that in order for me to create the kind of success that Susan has and Todd Falcone has and my mentor has, that I need to stop trying to change other people's mindsets. That before they even come to me, they already need to have a pretty strong mindset. I was on a private webinar last night with my mentor, Lisa, and she was talking about how when somebody starts balking about prices or starts saying, is that an MLM or is that a pyramid thingy, that that is the last time that she follows up with that person. Why? Because they don't got the headset ready for it yet. That makes a lot of sense, guys. So I want you to consider this. I'm going to put the link again to Susan's video with Todd underneath this and listen to what they have to say. And even though I have a very valid point about that, you have to have the right mindset in order to even bother to learn the skill set. You as a network marketer need to start looking at it as if you are already making the $2 million a year and have the million dollar products and launches and all this crazy stuff going on. You need to start looking at it as if you're already there and stop enrolling people that mentally shouldn't be in your team at all. Okay, so from here on in, the moment that I get that kind of resistance where I feel like I've got to mother them. See, that's my own mindset where I feel like I have to mother someone into thinking about this business or the products or whatever it is in a positive way, then I am working too hard in an area that doesn't pr produce the results that I'm looking for in my business. And that's where my mindset comes in. So from now on, I'm going to do a survey. I'm going to ask, what's the last book you read or listened to on an audio or watched on a video? How, you know, how, how many times a day do you focus or how long every day do you focus on caring for yourself and and caring for your your mental well-being you know I spent hours in the morning taking me time because I need to do that because when success shows up here I'm gonna be ready I'm not gonna be one of those people that has a really good you know run and then psh, falls apart and can't keep it together and can't keep recruiting and can't keep building my team and encouraging my team to grow I'm not going to be one of those people. I'm not going to be a one hit wonder. And I know what it takes every morning, what I've got to do when I wake up, what I've got to do for myself. You know, the first thing I do is I meditate and then I exercise and I do a mental exercise. I do a yoga where I've got to really think about where my body is and what my muscles are doing and how I'm breathing. And then I do another meditation and I do my intentions for the day, journaling and I make sure that the list that I wrote for my my day is up to par that if there's any changes I have to make I make it that's before I ever log into my my emails or my Facebook or wherever it is I'm conducting business for the day 
That's before all of that happens. So that's why sometimes you don't see me until the afternoon. Well, often you'd never see me before noon because I'm working on myself as soon as I wake up. Now, what I need to do and what you need to do, if you want to see success like Susan Sly and Todd Falcone and Lisa Torres and all these people out there that, that you're being mentored by, I bet you this is the thing. They don't waste their time with people that aren't ready mentally to even do business with them. It is not your job to change someone's mindset unless what you want to do is be a mindset guru. If what you want to do is be, uh, I don't even know, Tony Robbins. If that's what you want to do, good luck and be ready for a lot more disappointment. And that's maybe that's the thing. I'm thinking it's the very thing. So, this is what I'm going to tell you to do. Give yourself, like I say all the time, start a morning ritual, get connected with yourself, focus on your why, focus on those things. It's not just industry talk. It's not just that, that stuff exists no matter what. You've got to have a lot of passion for what your goals are, and you need to remind yourself every day. One thing Susan Sly does every morning, the first person she recruits into her business is herself. So... Think of it that way. You've got to kind of be there. Now, once you're there, when you are prospecting, when you're following up with people that are asking you about what you're doing, if they have the slightest inclination that they are not ready here to start learning the skills they're going to need to learn in order to be a success in their business, you don't need to recruit them. Let somebody else do that. Let them do that somewhere else. Okay? Let them do what you've done. Let them spend the money on the books and the audios and the seminars. Let them dedicate the, you know, figure out what they're doing for themselves in the morning. Let them learn how to meditate. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be talking about mindset. I'm saying when it comes down to doing business with someone, they should already have a pretty mapped out plan that they're working on their mindset every single day. That's not something that you should be concerned with. It's up to them. It's their responsibility, just like it's your own responsibility to keep your shit together. So, with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. It's already seven minutes long. Watch Susan and Todd's video, and you'll see what I'm saying. And is that, that's the difference between someone like me, that's at like $1,000 a month, and somebody that makes $2 million a year. That's the difference. And I just figured it out. So, I hope this helps you right now today in your business as well and if you're ready to lock arms with somebody like me that's ready to run that's ready to rock and roll and won't take any shit from you at all let's go because I'm, I'm looking for someone just like you <laughs> I'll see you on the other side peace